everyone i hope you're all doing well now in today's lesson i'll be taking you guys through understanding market structure and identifying um structural breaks so let's get straight into it now i'm going to give you guys a quick brief introduction um to smart money trading welcome to smart money trading a style of trading where we incorporate institutional concepts within our trades this allows us to have that edge in the markets now I will guide you through SMT and help you understand and identify specific market behaviours that will allow us to trade and invest in harmony with market manipulation caused by the smart money. Essentially we already know that the big institutions are the market movers. They trade with such volume that doesn't even compare to 0.00001% of the amount of volume us retail traders trade. A good anatomy that my mentor um, Mark Fraser taught me is that you got to think of it as this. The smart money are essentially the sharks. And we as retail traders are the remora fishes. Now, the remora fishes would follow the sharks and eat the sharks' leftovers. That's how, that's a good anatomy to think of it as. Now, let's get straight into it. Um, keywords I want you guys to familiarise yourselves with is um, smart money. Smart money is, another word, is a word to uh, identify the market movers. So when I say smart money, I'm referring to the big financial institutions such as the hedge funds, uh, institutional banks, etc. Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, all of that. Mitigation. Mitigation, you're going to hear me using that word quite a lot in the next lesson when I teach you guys all the blocks. Uh, essentially, all it means is that this is where smart money break even on their losing position. Liquidity. Liquidity is simply an area where there's a lot of stop losses and pending orders. Equal lows and equal highs is just an area... Um, uh, where price has reached twice or more and reversed, such as support and resistance levels, double tops and double bottoms. So let's get straight into it. Market structure. Structure is perhaps the most important aspect in trading and analysing the charts. By having a good understanding of market structure, that alone would elevate your trading beyond belief. So in this lesson, I'll be going over the different types of market trends and structural breaks. Now... These three basic market movements are compromised of four swing points. Now, before I get onto that, let's identify these three basic market movements. One, we have a bullish sentiment, which is referred to as an uptrend. It's when price is printing a series of high highs and higher lows. And then we have a ranging market. It's when price is printing equal highs, equal lows. Essentially, you can call it um, support resistance levels. Sorry, uh, support and resistance levels is when price is just uh, not doesn't really have a direction is just moving sideways. Uh, a bearish sentiment referred to as a downtrend is when price is printing a series of lower highs and lower lows. So like I said, these uh, basic market movements are compromised of four key swing points. Higher highs, higher lows, lower lows and lower highs. Now, if you aren't already familiarized um, by these key swing points, I'm going to go through them with you. So in, a, uh, in an uptrend scenario, this would be our lowest uh, our lower high right so when price pulls back and then impulses it closes above that recent cr recently created lower high therefore creating a higher high now same thing that goes for the lows this was the low uh, our lower low essentially the lowest phase of uh the move over to the upside but when price impulses and pulls back it closes above that low therefore printing a higher low does that sort of make sense? Now, and again, for a downtrend, this would have been the highest point, which is what, which is the higher high. Price impulse is down, creating a higher low, pulls back, but closes below that higher high, therefore leaving us a lower high. And then so on, so on. Price impulses, closes below this low, therefore creating a lower low. Now, if I just show you an example on GU, um, right over here we can clearly see price is printing a series of higher highs and higher lows right so as we can see here this was a lower high then we have a lower low price uh, price impulses over to the upside closing above this lower high over here therefore printing a new higher high when price then pulls back it fails to close below this low therefore uh, creating a higher low and then price impulses over to the upside closing above this higher high therefore creating an even higher high and then so on so on and then this is an example of a downtrend price uh, creates a higher high 
uh, impulses over to the downside, creating a lower low. Price then pulls back, fails to close above that higher high, leaving us a lower high, and then carries on his impulsive moves to the downside, breaking below this lower low, creating an even lower low. Now, break off structure, all right? By using basic principles shown in the, uh, in the recent slides of the basic market movements, you can accurately determine where the buyers and sellers are gaining strength or weakness within the market. So as we can see here, price is printing a series of higher highs and higher lows, refer uh, and higher lows referred to as an area, uh, sorry, referred to as an uptrend. But what happens when price fails to um, maintain its upside presence and actually closes below that recently created higher low? When we identify something like this, this shows us that the sellers are now coming into power. Potentially, uh, potentially uh, signaling to us that the market wants to now shift direction over to the downside. Same thing for a downtrend. When price is creating a series of lower highs and lower lows, and price then breaks above the recently created lower high, that shows us the buyers are now coming into power, potentially, uh, sorry, potentially shifting the direction of the market. So now if I go on GU again and show you an example of this taking place. So as we can, as we identified earlier. We notice that price over here was in an uptrend, right? Creating higher highs, higher lows. But notice this, once we create that higher high, price pulled back and created a higher low, right? Because it failed to close below this higher low. But then once it started to move upwards, it then failed to close above this higher high, which then creates a lower high. And then the move of this lower high closes below that recent higher low. This therefore now prints a lower low. Now, once we identify this, break of structure we now know that the market wants to shift direction and as we can see here once we got that break of structure market was now moving over shift uh, shifts its direction over to the downside but then look what happens here so we now know over at this point over here we're in a downtrend right because price is creating lower highs and lower lows but notice what happens here so this was our recently created lower high when price moves over to the downside it failed to create a lower low it failed to close below this low but then what did it do? It impulsed above that recent lower high, therefore printing a new higher high. This is then what we identify as a break of structure. So now we now, we now know that the buyers are coming into power. So now once we've got that break of structure, what do we see now? Price is printing higher highs, higher lows. Now if I just zoom into this area over here, we identified that we were in an uptrend, but now at this point over here, what does this look like to you? A ranging market. Price is simply creating equal highs and equal lows. When you have a scenario like this, I personally stay away from the charts until I get a break of structure to, the, to either the upside or to the downside. Once I get that break of structure, that's when I start to look for buy or sell opportunities. Trend reversals. Now I'll be taking you guys through break of structures with signals to us a continuation in trend. So as you can see right over here, price is clearly printing higher highs and higher lows. Now, how do you know price is continuing uh, its move to the upside? Once we once price um, creates that new higher high and um, prints that higher low, and then it impulses above that recently created higher high, that is identified as a break of structure. But this is identified as a break of structure, which signals a continuation in trend, because it shows that price is still the the buyers are still in power, as none of the lows were broken, only the highs were broken, which uh, allows us to look for opportunities to buy into the market. So as you can see over here, we had that break of structure, right? Price then pulls back. I haven't been through all the block or supply and demand training with you guys yet, but as you can see here, once we got that break of structure. Price then pulls back, doesn't close below this low, but then mitigates this um, demand zone right over here. We got a nice reaction. Price moves over to the upside, and then we got that break of structure. Once we got that break of structure, price pulls back into this demand right over here, buys up again, pulls back, mitigates um, this for our order block right over here, and then again breaks structures to the upside. So this is just. Um, Identifying break of structures, which shows a uh, continuation in trend. But once price closes below this low over here, that's identified as a break of structure, which signals a trend reversal. So 
if I just show you guys an example on GU again, right over here. So, all right, sweet. So once we identify that price broke structure, we can start to look for buying opportunities, right? So this was our recent lower high, lower low, price broke structure, pulls back, and it comes into this nice sell to buy candle right over here. Mitigates, moves over to the upside. Price creates a higher high, pulls back, creating a higher low. And as we can see here, clearly mitigating this for our demand zone. Price then again breaks this structure, this structural high, pulls back and mitigates this demand zone. Price then creates a higher high and then so on. And then that's when we got that break of structure, right? No, okay, so before I get to that, so price created a higher high, pulls back. You would have entered at this uh, demand zone right over here. Yes, you would have been in profit. You would have pro probably been, been targeting these highs because you haven't had a reason to target anything less as price is still moving over to the downside. But then once price moved up, it then took you out and then broke structure because it broke that recent higher low. Once you've got that break of structure, you then start to look for selling opportunities, right? So if I just zoom into this area over here, probably the 30 minute, we can find a nice entry point. As you can see over here, we have a nice supply zone at this point over here. Go back onto that four hour, extend that, and if we play price, so we've got that break of structure. We're now looking for selling opportunities. Price pulls back. There we go. We would have entered at this 30 minute supply zone right over here, and price would have moved over to the downside, continuing um, it's bearish sentiment, okay? So I hope that kind of makes sense for you guys, okay? So overall, that kind of sums up um, lesson number one, understanding market structure and identifying the two types of break of structures, the break of structure that shows um, continuation in trend and the break of structures that um, signals trend reversals. So I'll see you guys in the next lesson.